Hamburg for listening audio. And we have an exclusive for the High End Munich show 2023. And maybe you can tell us a little bit more about it. Sure, absolutely. So we have the S70, which a lot of people are familiar with already. Yeah. This is uh, evolution of the S70. We're, we're calling it the limited edition because in fact, we'll only build 50 pairs of these. And we're drawing on a lot of what works with the S7 and making it just a little bit better in several ways. Yeah, so we've redesigned the woofers. Okay, okay new. Okay. New woofers, they use the same uh, thin ply carbon diaphragm okay. uh, and suspension system, but where the differences lie are in the motor structure where we have 20% more linear excursion, lower okay. inductance, lower okay. distortion. Uh, that allows more base energy below 80 hertz. Okay. Um, the DPC array, it's the same waveguide geometry, okay. but you can see already the, uh, the heat sink is cold because it's uh, made out of billet CNC cut aluminum. Okay. Um, all three diaphragms are now coupled to that aluminum waveguide, which doubles as a giant heat sink. And that heat sink thermal manages all three domes to the same temperature, okay. almost like a transistor on a amplifier. Um, otherwise, though, the DPC array is very similar. The beam forming is very similar. As you go down the product, we've, we've redesigned the base of the speaker. Yes. We've got a, a 20 millimeter thick steel plate, which is approximately 50 pounds now, anchoring the whole system because it is a larger system. Okay. Um, and then we worked with isoacoustics with, uh, ah, okay. with their Gaia system. Okay. And this is just an adaptation of the Gaia for, for Listen that's uh, custom designed for, okay. for this speaker only. So this Gaia will be available directly when you push as a speaker, right? Yep, it comes with the speaker. It'll be mounted right to the base as you see it right there. Okay. Um, and as you come to the side, you can see the carbon fiber panel. Um, and that's over HDF, which is our cabinet uh, manufacturing process. The carbon fiber allows us to do the, the beautiful art side panels and increases the volume just a little bit. We get about a 7% increase in volume, okay. slightly lower tuning, optimized for the new woofers. And you can't see on the back side, but on the back side, uh, we have special badging that, um, that's unique to the limited edition and it signifies what it is. We bring these into the United States. Okay. Um, I personally go through each one by hand, do a clipple near field scan mm -hmm. um, and pair match. And I'll do the final adjustments on the crossover to make sure that they're within a half a dB of each other. Once that's finalized, then I'll sign and serialize each one. And then we have a custom flight case for each speaker. Okay. And that's what you get. What, what about specs? Something changed? Uh, so, so very similar. Um, we aren't complete with the, uh, the crossover design, quite honestly. That'll be coming quite uh, in the near future. Okay. But what I'm anticipating is below 80 hertz, uh, more up within the current S7. Okay. Um, and again, like I was saying, because of the woofer's ability, the distortion and the dynamics of the low frequency will be, will be higher. And then the precision between the two crossovers. Mm -hmm. Now the, the, the crossover components are tighter tolerance than even before. And the pair matching is even tighter be than before. So each little element of an S7 has been improved that, that amount. What about finishes available? Just the carbon fiber as you see. One finish, one run, okay. 50 pair. Okay. There is in, uh, maybe planned and scheduled for the future other upgrades also for uh, the other lines? Nothing in the works. We'll see what the future holds. Okay. Super. Thank you very much then. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.